Shalom, shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakai Kodash, and double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who all know the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are listening and learning. Staying in the Holy Spirit and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai day in and day out. So uh just wanted to touch on these uh, two articles. All right. Um, you know, touching on how uh, uh you know the ones the, the ones that are in authority, right? The the powers that be, how they uh you know may may use this whole situation, right, that is going, you know, going on currently in the uh state of 48ers as a, a ploy to uh, censor uh, the truth, all right? And, and when I say the truth, I mean specifically the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And I say that because as you see here coming from Russia today, it says UK may arrest people for waving Palestinian flags, okay? So just by waving a, uh, a flag, right? <laughs> they may see that as being um you know anti s all right or, or you know um incitement to violence okay uh uh what else you know a, a racial or, or or hate speech just by just by waving the flag so you know how much more for the ones who are actually standing boldly and um you know prophesying against the wicked all right prophesying against Babylon the Great, uh, Esau, Edom, and his hegemony, and the lies and the deceits, all right, uh, as the scriptures calls the 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 uh, wine, right, that um, he has uh, caused, you know, all the earth to be drunken, you know, from, because forcing them to drink that wine, which is the philosophies, right, which we, you know, come through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to, you know, speak the 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 truth of the matter, Okay, and to you know, try to sober up, namely this uh, the elect of Israel from the uh, ideologies and the lies that they have been um, you know uh, uh, believing through this devil and his um, his propaganda and his and his uh, uh, you know social not social media but his media his propaganda you know and, and overall just his his institutions right. So it says chants and symbols may also be grounds for criminal charges, the government told police. Police in England and Wales should treat Palestinian flags, chants, and other symbols displayed in certain contexts as right there, you know, eight, eight speech, home security uh, secretary, so uh, Su, Suleya Braverman said in a letter of instruction sent on Tuesday. It is not just explicit pro Hamas symbols and chants that are cause for concerns, Braverman wrote in the letter. I would encourage police to consider whether chants such as from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, should be understood as an expression of a violent desire to see uh, 48ers, I'm going to say, erased from the world and whether it is whether its use in certain contexts may amount to a racially aggravated section five public order offense. Okay, and a few weeks ago, maybe a couple, like a month, you know, month or two ago, I did a video on, um, you know, this whole new guideline that, um, you know, these devils have. Let me see if I could, see if I can, see if I can find it real quick. The video, your videos. Um, was it this one? I don't think it was that one. Mm. Don't want to spend too much time trying to look for it, but basically, it was a video that um, they were they were uh, coming out 
and saying how they want to uh, be able to censor, you know, uh, the internet. All right, uh, they want to censor the internet and you know have it to where the things that are are said, all right, on the internet, it, it, it's it has to be a, it's a very thin line, right? It's a very thin line of things that you know will be acceptable to say uh, on the internet. Okay, and um, you know, ultimately, which what they want to get that toward. Let me see if it's in the lives. I'm not sure. Um, nah, it's all good. If I find it, I'll repost it. It's probably one of these, but I just uh, can't remember exactly which one it was. But regardless, um. What they want to do is be able to uh, censor, you know, your uh, so-called freedom of speech. All right, they want to censor your your freedom of speech, and this is a a very good. Um, this could be a very good uh, 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 solution, you know, to that. All right, or should I say, problem to being able to do that? Because if they're saying that they can arrest people just for waving a flag then you know you know how much more for what we are coming out here and and you know speaking according to the gospel according to the truth of the bible so it says context is crucial behaviors that are legitimate and behaviors that are legitimate in certain in some circumstances for example the waving of a palestinian flags may not be legitimate such as when intended to glorify acts of terrorism, Braverman added, urging swift and appropriate enforcement action against those who drive 48ers neighborhoods or single drive through, so a uh, slack so through 48ers neighborhoods or single out 48er members uh, uh, of the public and aggressively chant or wave pro Palestinian symbols at them. Police should deal with any protest that could exacerbate community tensions by way of offense, offensive uh, placards, chants, or behaviors that could be construed as incitement or harassment. Braver, Braverman concluded. Uh, yeah, concluded. And her letter, her letter comes as a large, large crowd of people rallied, rallied in London on Monday evening outside of the 48ers Embassy in Kingston, Kingston. Chant, uh, chanting free Palestine and 48 is a terrorist state. Three people were arrested at the protest. So she basically, um, not exactly sure who, oh, it says they have the home secretary, right? So the, basically the government of the UK is basically saying that <laughs> if you have any type of, of uh, a solidarity, right? If you have any type of you know, uh, uh, an agreement with the people of, uh, you know, Palestine, then that could potentially, you know, cause you to be deemed as a, uh, a, a, a that being deemed as an act of, uh, you know, act of being a terrorist, and you can get arrested for that just by simply waving a flag, okay? And waving a, a, a country sovereign flag here in the UK could be potentially a terroristic act. And you, as you can clearly see, it's always when it's something that is against the, uh, you know, the S, the, the, the 48ers, okay? All across the world, you got these, all these countries, right? These westernized countries saying that they stand with, you know, the 48ers, right? They condemn, you know, uh, Hamas, Right, all throughout Babylon, America's uh, media, you know, uh, uh, mainstream media, you only see things that are pro 48ers, right? You, you're not seeing anything on the side of the uh, the people of Palestine, which, you know, at the end of the day, those are both heathen uh, countries, right? Heathen people, right? The 48ers being uh, the, the Amalekites going back to Esau, Edom, and the Palestinians being, you know, Ishmaelites. All right. Neither one of them are the people of God, are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites coming from the seed of Jacob. Right. But as we can clearly see, 
whose world <laughs> is that we're living in, right? As it says in the book of Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, he covered the faces of the judges they're rough, if not where and who uh, is he? We can clearly see that who's in control right now because you got countries that are not countries that are of uh, the 48ers, right, of Amalek. However, they're passing, they're telling their police <laughs> to arrest people for, for you know, standing in, in solidarity with the Palestinian people, okay? But all in all, people across the world are waking up, all right, because even though the, the mainstream medias of these uh, countries, these westernized countries, aren't push, are pushing a, a certain narrative to be, um, you know, uh, uh, for the 48ers and against the Palestinians, a lot of people that are, that are within these countries, a lot of these uh, citizens within these countries, they see, you know, what the truth is, man, all right? The truth has been has gone out regardless. So whether or not you try to do these things to try to censor the truth, it's already too late. All right, let's get that. It's already too late. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse uh, twenty-seven. It says, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared." All right, and a part of that truth being declared is revealing the wicked. All right, then shall that wicked be revealed. So yeah, you could try to you know censor. All right, the truth. You could try to threaten people for uh, 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 you know basically standing up or taking a side that is against you, because that's what that really is. You know, when you when a person waves, this is a war, right? If it's a war, you're going to have people on both sides of the war. You're going to have people for one side and against another side and vice versa, against one side and for another side. But here it is. If this is supposed to be a free speech, uh, uh, you know, the, the Western civilization, you're supposed to have democracy, you're supposed to have, uh, uh, you know, freedom of speech. Then why would you why would you condemn or why would you uh, uh, arrest and give somebody a criminal charge, <laughs> right, for being, a, uh, you know, a supporter of one side of the war, especially if your country, your specific country, is not even within this war. All right, that's what you got to ask yourself. But it's really because the 48ers are all the ones who control all of these countries, all right, through their uh, monetary policy, right, the fact that they are the ones that control these uh, central banks, right? The IMF, the World Bank, the BIS, the federal, the, the U.S. Federal Reserve, the ECB, European Central Bank. It's all controlled by the uh, the by the uh, uh, 48ers, all right? The Amalekites, which they are biblically known as, because they were the the first of the nations, as uh, the scripture says in the book of Numbers, the twenty fourth chapter. Amalek being a first of the nation, and I word first meaning the chief or have the choicest part. See, they have the best part of Esau's blessing. Okay, although they're just only one tribe amongst the Edomites, they're the ones that got the best part of the blessing of Esau. And that's why all these other countries, westernized countries, basically got to, you know, back them up and fall in line, you know, uh, with what with, with, with whatever Ever they want but at the end of the day the truth is be, the truth that it's already going out so it's already been revealed who you are okay but this is another um article from the people's voice it says the adl which stands for the anti-defamation league which we already know who is in control um i want to say jacob schiff schiff i think he was uh Back in, let's see if I can find it. I do have information on it, but I don't want to spend too much time trying to look for it. But, right, obviously we know that this was a uh, organization that was created by the 48ers to basically police any and everybody that's that that across the whole world that has any type of, um, you know, 
any type of uh, disagreement, disagreements or disdain toward them, right? Which the disagreements or disdain or the 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 you know the strife that people have toward them is all based off of the type of um how would you say it's all based off of the type of uh, uh evil dealings that they have done throughout the world okay it's not based off of any mythical you know made up thing not nah, it, it it comes from yeah, the way that you have as the scripture says in uh Sirach, the 10th chapter uh because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit Okay, and that's exactly how you've gotten the power that you have got. All right, through the sword, through the through, through lies, okay, through embezzlement, all right, through straight up the robbery. So the 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 strife and the problems that people you know that the world has against right the the forty eighters is all based off of a legitimate uh, 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 you know, based off of legitimate reasons. Okay. But, um, let me see if I could, where is it at? I'm just trying to see, cause I, I have this article, um, and it speaks about the, the, the ADL. So I bear with me. Um. All right, you know, like I said, for time's sake, I don't want to spend too much time trying to look for it, but there is a uh, there is information, you know, concerning the ADL and basically what what they were set up to do. But long story short, it it was it's basically just to to police, you know, anybody that and everybody that comes up against against uh, the 48ers that's the that's what it basically is about all right and then and then to try to you know do be a the spin doctor and spin everything as them being the, the victim and everybody else being the uh the bad guy right but um so yeah let's read this okay well that there you go jacob schriff um all right, yeah, let's read this. If it, if it be the Lord's will, I'll bring it out in another video about that. But read on. It says, according, uh, it says that the Anti-Defamation League CEO, Jonathan Greenblatt, declared on Monday that anybody who dares criticize the 48 is a terrorist and a Hamas sympathizers. According to Greenblatt, who uh, people who voice Anti-48ers or pro-Palestine opinions are accomplices in the Hamas attacks who will end on their on the ashes of history. So uh, let's hear I'm gonna play what he says. Let me, uh, do this, share screen. All right, so let me play what he says here. I am sick and tired of it. And I am disgusted. Not just by the atrocities, although that's enough, but by their accomplices here in New York, marching in front of my office saying resistance. Let me tell you something, rape is not resistance. Murder is not a political movement. 
and these people will end where evil always does on the ashes of history. Oh, okay. I just found uh, that information I was looking for. So I'm going to pull it up right now. Let's see. Command find. Let's see. Uh, Anti defamation. There we go. So you see right here, right? It says Jacob Schiff sets up the Anti Defamation League in the United States. This organization is formed to slander anyone who questions or challenges the Rothschild's global conspiracy as anti-S. Okay? It says, strangely enough, the same year that they do this, they also set up their last and current central bank in, the, in America, the Federal Reserve. So the same year that the, uh, the ADL was set up by Jacob Sch uh, Schiff, right, which he is a, a small hatter, is the same year that the Federal Reserve, the American Federal Reserve was set up. So it's no coincidence, okay? And this uh, is coming from a uh, piece entitled The History of the House of the Rothschilds, okay? And I haven't even finished reading all this yet, but so far what I got is definitely some good information. Um, so, yeah. So going back here, oh, so lucky I didn't even you didn't even get to see that. My bad. Um, so bear with me. Let's go back here now. So yeah, what I just read was coming from uh, this right here, which uh, once again is a, a piece by Andrew Hitchcock. It says the history of the House of the Rothschilds. And the part where I read was, let me scroll down. Come on. Right here. It says Jacob Schiff sets up the Anti Defamation League in the United States. Does this organization is formed to slander anyone who questions or challenges the Rothschild's global conspiracy as anti S? Strangely enough, the same year they do that, they also set up their last and current central bank in America, the Federal Reserve. Okay. So tying this in to, to the article from Russia Today, as you see, this is the the uh, the rhetoric, right, that they're using now. Anybody, right, that is that that <laughs> has any type of opinion other than the opinion that they're saying right that they're putting out then you are a terrorist right you are a sympathizer right you are an accomplice so they're using these terms to basically say that if you're not down with what we're doing and with what we're saying then you are going to be treated as a criminal all right and and therefore you shall have grounds as it says here there will be grounds for criminal charges so this is all leading up to what? The uh, uh, famine of the word. Because if we can't speak what the truth is, and the truth is is everything that is basically against what these devils, you know, say, right? Then anytime what we say and where we speak, they're going to say, and they're going to, they're going to have it to where it's a uh, it's unlawful. This is uh, wisdom of Solomon two. Verse uh, 2, verse 12, it says, therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous. And how do they lie in wait? By setting up these snares, setting up these traps, right? Because they can't come straight forward at, at the gospel, right? So they, they, they create different snares and, and, and traps through these different, you know, uh, situations and events to further push to try to, uh, you know, further push uh, uh, us into a corner. But the scripture tells us what? That, that that we should not be pushed into a corner anymore, man. All right? And the Lord already warned us that we are going to be brought before council, brought before mag magistrates, right, and, and, and governors for his namesake. Right? And they're going to try to group us all in with, the, you know, MAGAs and 
and uh, the all these different things. But now nah, we're 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 not associated with no other type of ideology except the the the, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding and the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. That's point blank. Period. All right. If we're not tied and we don't advocate for the any <laughs> the Palestine or or the 48ers. We have a we advocate for Yahweh Shah. But nonetheless, they're still going to try to, you know, use that as a as a ploy. So reading here it says, therefore let us lie in, lie in wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. This is what the wicked say. And he is clean contrary to our doings. And that's right. Why? Because your doings are of the devil, as as Yahweh Shah said. You are of your father the devil. And the less of your father you shall do. He was a, a liar from the beginning, or a murderer from the beginning. He is a liar and the father of it. Okay? He is a liar and a and the father of it. Oh, it also he also said that what? That he can't um he can't speak the truth. There is no truth in him to speak. John eight. All right, let me pull that out real quick. It says. You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from, from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay? So, yeah, we are clean contrary to this devil because he is about lies. <laughs> and we're about the truth. We're about Yahweh Shai, and he is the truth. So it says... He is clean contrary to our doings. He abradeth us with our offending of the law, which they do, especially they do that from, from Babylon to Tel Aviv. Okay? They offend the law everywhere they go because they are the man of sin and objecteth to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. Right? Because their education is nothing but deceit. It's falsehoods. Okay? And, and and what do they do? They push their education right through, uh, and it's really indoctrination through a uh, uh, means of of uh, of threats. Okay, by saying if you don't take what we say, if you don't ingest and believe what we say, then we're going to boom charge you. <laughs> then you're then you are a boom. Okay, if you criticize. Boom. The, the 48 is this is what you are. You see? So that's why it says they objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. But all in all, what? We're, the, 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 the truth is going to prevail, man. All right. Isaiah 29, verse 21. That maketh a man an offender. For, let me start at 20. For the terrible terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. All right, and that's what this devil, that's what he does to a T, man. He watches for iniquity. It says that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Okay? And this is the snare that they're trying to lay. But they don't understand that this is all biblical prophecy, man. As as the Lord said, man, you don't got no power except the power that our Father gives you. So yeah, you you trying to stop and censor the truth? That's only because that's what our Father said what He was going to do, according to prophecy, the famine of the word. And when the famine of the word hits, that only is just a sign. That's only a token for the elect to know that hey, our time of prophesying is up. Now is the time to watch how the Lord just does completely <laughs> undo, you know, uh, 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 your whole kingdom. Okay. Once, once you make it to where we can't speak, or you make it, an, you make it a, a crime for us speaking the truth. All right. And, and this, all these things are just setting up toward that. But once you actually come down upon us because of that, understand and know that that's checkmate for your ass. All right. And, and not in a, you winning type of uh, checkmate that you, you, know, you are in checkmate. You're already in checkmate, right? Since Yahweh Shai came and did what he did, you've been in checkmate. But now we're we're at the end of it. Okay, so 
you know, that's pretty much it on those uh, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.